Hi friends, this is pipe and cisterns video part 4. I will suggest you to watch the previous video on pipe and cistern to understand the question clearly and easily. This question was asked in State Bank of India PO and let's see how to solve this question quickly. So two pipe P1 and P2 can fill a tank in 40 minutes and 60 minutes. So pipe P1 can fill in 40 minutes and pipe P2 can fill a tank in 60 minutes respectively. right? Both the taps are opened and after 10 minutes P1 was shut. So both the tap was open means P1 and P2 was opened and after 10 minutes what was happening? P1 was shut means after 10 minutes only P2 will work right ok. So what we will do we will take the LCM right why we will take the LCM because we need the efficiency of the pipe P1 and we need the efficiency of the pipe P2 that means in 10 minutes how much of water they can fill right. So LCM of 40 and 60 will be 120 and once we will take LCM that becomes our capacity right. So 120 liter is the capacity of the tank which A, which P1 and P2 pipe is going to fill right. Now 120 divided by 40 will be 3 and 120 divided by 60 will be 2 and that becomes our efficiency. Now we know P1 can fill 3 liter of water in 1 minute and P2 can fill 2 liter of water in 1 minute and together if P1 and P2 pipe is open then they can fill 5 liter of water in 1 minute right and P1 and P2 was open for how much time 10 minute. So P1 plus P2 in 10 minute. So in 1 minute 5 liter so in 10 minute P1 plus P2 will fill 50 liter right. So out of 120 liter 120 liter was the total capacity of the tank 50 liter is filled by P1 plus P2 in 10 minute. So what will be the remaining tank which has to fill? So the remaining will be 70 liter. So 70 liter of the water has to get still filled. Who will fill this 70 liter? This 70 liter will be filled by P2 because P1 is closed here, right? So what is the efficiency of P2? So the efficiency of P2 is 2. That means P can fill 2 liter of water in 1 minute. So for filling 70 liter, P2 will take how much time? 35 minutes and which option will be true so option a 35 minute will be the correct answer so question number 2 is three taps a b and c can fill a tank in 20 minutes 30 minutes and 40 minutes respectively so this sentence i will write down here a can fill a tank in 20 minutes b can fill a tank in 30 minutes and c can fill a tank in 40 minutes right okay so after writing it down what we do we take the lcm right this is in minute so when you take the lcm the LCM will be what? 120. So 120 divided by 20 will be what? 120 divided by 20 will be 6. 120 divided by 30 will be 4. 120 divided by 40 will be 3. And this becomes our efficiency. And we take LCM, this becomes our capacity. So the capacity of the tank is how much? 120 liter. Right? This we came to know after taking the LCM, right? Now all the taps are open simultaneously and after 5 minutes tap A was closed means all the 3 taps were opened and after 5 minutes after 5 minutes tap A was closed means the tap A was closed after 5 minutes right suppose this is A this is B this is C so for 5 minutes all 3 pipe was filling the water right so A plus B plus C in 5 minutes right. So A can fill 6 liter in 1 minute, B can fill 4 liter in 1 minute and C can fill 3 liter in 1 minute. So together A plus B plus C will fill how many liter of water in 1 minute? So see 6 plus 4 plus 3, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 liter in 1 minute and if they are opened for 5 minutes then 13 liter into 5 liter will be 65 and if you will subtract it will be 55 liter. So 55 liter has to still get filled right. So A plus B plus C in 5 minutes they filled how much of water 65 liter they filled and now 55 liter has to get filled right ok. Then again next what is the next sentence. So all the taps are opened simultaneously and after 5 minutes tap A was closed till here we have done it. And then after 6 minutes tap B was closed that means see tap B and tap C was opened. Again after 6 minutes what they are doing 
they are closing the tab B. That means for 6 minute B plus C worked for 6 minute. B and C were opened for how much time? 6 minute. Okay. So B can fill 4 liter in 1 minute. C can fill 3 liter in 1 minute. So together B plus C will be able to fill 7 liter, right? 4 plus 3 is 7 liter and they were open for 6 minutes. That means 42 liter of water B plus C will be able to fill, right? So what was the, the remaining capacity of the tank which has to fill? 55 liter. Out of 55 liter, 42 liter was filled by B plus C. So 5 minus 2 is 3 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So 13 liter is still left out. 13 liter of tank is still has to get filled, right? Okay, till here we have done it. Again, we will read the next line. At a moment, a leak developed which can empty the full tank in 60 minutes. Okay, so after this only C pipe was working. After this only C pipe was working and in C pipe there is one leak was developed. There is one leak was developed and because of that of the, and the leak was developed and the leak which has developed can empty the full tank in 60 minutes. Okay, so suppose we will consider that the leak was developed here is L and this can empty the tank in 40 minutes, right? So 120 divided by 60 will be what? 2. So the efficiency of the leak will be 2. Okay, so the efficiency of leak is 2 liter. That means leak can remove the water. See, if it is a leak, means leak, what it will do? It will remove the water. So leak will remove the water. How much water it will remove? It will remove 2 liter per minute right 2 liter per minute the leak will remove right so what will happen at this stage at this stage who will work c will work and the leak will work right because leak is there so leak will remove the water and c will fill the water so i can write it like this see c is here 3 and leak is 2 so let c leak okay and total capacity is 120 liter right and c capacity is C was 40, so efficiency is 3 and leak is 60, so the efficiency is 2, right? Now, what is the capacity, what is the water which has to get filled? 13 liter, 13 liter, right? And who will fill? This C and leak, right? Because C and leak is working at the end. So, C efficiency is 3 and leak efficiency will be 2 because leak will remove the water, right? So, 13 liter and divide by 3 minus 2 is 1. 13 so c and leak will take 13 minutes to fill the tank right now they're asking what was the total time taken so total time taken c a plus b plus c took how much time 5 minute b plus c took how much time 6 minute and c plus the leak see here c plus the leak how much time it took it took 13 minute plus 13 so 13 plus 6 is 19 and 19 plus 5 is 24 minute so in this complete process to fill the tank how much time was required 24 minute so thanks for watching the video